Collier to be comparing both versions of the Lost Tomb set released in 2008 and 2023, with both sets of course recreating the iconic Well of Souls scene from the Writers of the Lost Ark. There's timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a specific part of the comparison, as well as links to the individual reviews of both sets. All that said, let's get into the comparison, starting with the minifigures. The 2008 Lost Tomb includes three minifigures, featuring Indy, Mari in her white dress, and a classic Lego skeleton, while the 2023 Lost Tomb includes four minifigures, featuring Indy, Mari in her white white dress, Salah, who has never appeared in Lego before, and a mummy. Having both indie minifigures side by side really shows you just how much Lego has changed over 15 years. The new indie figure has a brand new hat and hair combo piece introduced this year, While the 2008 Indie Freer uses the standard LEGO cowboy hat, the face prints again just goes to show how much LEGO has improved over the years. Both figures have a similar grinning face print, although the 2023 minifigure has an alternative face print that shows a worried expression, while the 2008 figure does not have an alternative face print because it would be visible from behind due to the hat, mainly because a minifigure having two face prints was not really the norm back during the late 2000s, and even into the very early 2010s. Both figures have essentially the exact same bag mold that goes over the shoulder, but removing them you can see again the torso printing on both figures is very similar, the open jacket and shirt showing, and unfortunately both figures have issues with the flesh printing on the torso. The 2023 figure also has bank printing, which is lacking on the 2008 minifigure, mainly because bank printing, again, was not the norm back in the 2000s. Interestingly enough, the 2023 figure actually has gloves, while the original 2008 figure does not, making the 2023 figure more accurate to the movie. The whips are essentially the same mold and can extend and retract like so. Like printing is once again very similar, with the 2023 figure having some minor changes such as a belt buckle and a slightly less detailed strap across the legs. While both figures are great in their own right, the 2023 indie figure completely blows the original out of the water. Having both Marion figures side by side again just really shows the improvement in minifigures over the last 15 years. The hairpiece used for the 2023 figure is more screen accurate, and the overall printing quality of the 2023 figure is just so much better. For instance, the flesh tone and the torso print of the 2008 figure, the different skin tone compared to the arms and head of the figure. An interesting oddity too is the 2008 figure has colored eyes, which is fairly rare for many figures. The face prints for both figures are pretty similar, with each having a smiling and scared face print. The 2008 figure lacks both leg and back printing compared to the 2023 figure, which is back printing as well as dual molded leg to represent the rope dress, which again is more screen accurate. Unsurprisingly, once again, the 2023 figure is superior. Both sets have a corpse included, with the 2008 set having a classic Lego skeleton, and the 2023 set having a mummy that is super detailed. Although again, like Indy and Marion, the flesh printing is a different tone compared to the arms of the figure. As I mentioned before, the 2023 Lost Tomb is an additional figure, being Sala, who has never appeared in Lego form before, and is exclusive to the set. Before we get to the builds, we have to compare the arcs themselves, both being okay. 2008 Covenant uses a mix of brown and pearl gold, while the 2023 Covenant uses a mix of pearl gold, orange, and a little bit of grey thrown in for some reason. The size of the 2023 arc used stickers for detailing and orange bricks, which doesn't look the best. Although the square shaping of the 2023 Covenant is more screen accurate. The clash of colors in grey at the bottom hurts the overall look a small bit. The 2008 Covenant is a bit smaller, and while the brown accents are screen accurate, the gold in the middle just isn't thick enough. For the carrying handle, the 2008 Arc uses a slightly different version of Master Boost Staff, while the 2023 Arc uses handle pieces in pearl gold. Again, both are okay, but succeed and fail in different aspects. Both sets are at a different scale, but share similar characteristics, such as having the exact same play features, but with varying degrees of success. The Anubis statues are at very different scales, with the 2003 set having more minifigure scale Anubis statues, while the 2008 Anubis statues are at a smaller scale, and hold weapons with arms that can be slightly articulated, while the 2023 Anubis statues have immovable arms, but instead can swivel like so. In the 2008 set, both Anubis statues can be toppled over by removing the Technic pins holding them up, while only the Anubis statue on the right can be toppled over by pressing the switch or manually pushing the statue over with your own hands in the 2023 set. Tied to this feature is being able to knock out the back walls, which doesn't really work in the 2008 set. Both play features are good, but I preferred the 2023 sets of new statues due to the detail, and while only one can be toppled over, at least it's actually able to knock down the back wall. 
The snake drop and play feature in 2008 set is this little bunker container that holds 10 snakes in total with 5 green snakes and 5 red snakes. To dump out the snakes, you push down the red slope at the back of the set, while in the 2023 set, the snake dumping feature is this small container that can only hold one snake. It's safe to say the 2008 set wins by a mile when it comes to the snake drop feature. The jump scare feature in both sets differs heavily. The 2008 set is a skeleton hanging from a chain held up by a hitch piece at the back of the set, which, I mean, it's not good. Let's be real. In comparison, the 2023 set has a small compartment at the back of the set, which if you pull a Technic rod, the mummy jumps out like so. Although sometimes the mummy gets caught on the very edge of the rod, which isn't that great, and blows the 2008 set's jump scare feature out of the water. The resting area of the arc differs heavily in both sets, with the 2008 arc being held up by these brown pieces, elevated up a step, while in the 2023 set, there's an archway in front of the covenant with a hieroglyphs at the side, which we'll get to in a minute. Behind the archway, the arc sits on the floor like in the movie, and honestly, I prefer the 2023 version, just from the inclusion of the archway alone. It really adds to this set and makes it really feel like a mystical lost tomb, as well as being more screen accurate, which is always a good thing. When it comes to the hieroglyphs, the 2008 set goes for a more realistic approach, featuring various symbols from ancient Egypt, while the 2023 set goes for a more fantasy approach, I guess, with references to the LEGO original themes such as Bionicle and LEGO Space Police. Although one thing that both sets have in common is that they share a reference to R2-D2 and C-3PO, just like in the original movie. Now we start to get into the sort of miscellaneous portion of the video, with aspects from the movie that each set lacks. First off, the 2023 set actually has the burning charcoals on the floor, which is missing the 2008 set. The 2008 set uses these molded pieces for torches, while the 2023 set uses a more generic LEGO look. The Anubis statues in the 2008 set actually have weapons which are not present in the movies, so the 2023 set is more accurate in that regard, and is more accurate with the overall general shaping of the Anubis statues. The 2008 set has this blue gem or sapphire at the top of the set under an arc piece, which again is not present in Raiders, so it's omitted from the 2023 set. And just overall, the 2008 set goes for more of a Lego original design with the colors and whatnot, which looks fine for the budget the set was constrained to in 2008. When it comes to pricing, the 2008 set retails for 20 euro, which adjusted for inflation would be roughly 23 euro today, while the 2023 set retails for 40 euro. Now the elephant in the room is the aftermarket price for all 2008 and 2009 LEGO Indiana Jones sets. If you're not aware, the pricing of the original Indiana Jones sets in the aftermarket is quite ridiculous, to put it lightly, with some sets going for well beyond half a grand. Retail sets, by the way. So when it comes to which set to pick up for yourself, the new 2023 set is a no-brainer. Unless you can find the original last tomb for around its retail price or around the retail price of the new 2023 set, I wouldn't bother with it to be honest. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified for my future LEGO videos. Until next time, see ya.